and welcome back to my channel. If you're new around here, I am Lottie and I make lifestyle and beauty videos. If you are new around here, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button and stick around for some more videos. Today I am back with a home bargains haul. We don't have a home bargains that close to us, it's about 20 minutes, half an hour away from us, but we popped there the other day and I'm just going to show you what we bought. We did buy a fair bit of cleaning stuff. I'm addicted to cleaning stuff, I would say. And especially the flora. I think I picked up about eight or nine bottles of it, but I will show you that. I'm just going to start with the random bits because most of it is cleaning stuff, so I'm just going to get the random bits out of the way first and then we'll go into the cleaning bits. So, the first couple of things we picked up were some food things. The first thing is the Weetabix Crispy Mini Chocolate Chips. Apparently Glenn has been trying to find these for ages. He remembers these from when he was younger and couldn't find them anywhere and they were in home bargains. I think they were about £1.29 a box or something. So now that I've filmed this, he'll be happy that he can eat these. But yeah, I'm not a fan of Weetabix so he will eat these. For anyone who is new and doesn't know, Glenn is my soon-to-be husband. We're getting married next year, we get married next July. So yeah, that's who he is. He is in some vlogs and does make appearances and videos. The next thing we picked up again is for him and for his packing up. And they're just the yogurt brick strawberry ones. Because he goes to work so early, again, if you're new, he leaves for work at like four in the morning. So these are technically his breakfast. The next thing we picked up was a Hairy Bikers Roast and Rock tray. This is oven safe, freezer safe and dishwasher safe. I don't know why you would put this in your freezer. Maybe if you made lasagna in it or something. But we needed one of these for roasting like chicken and meat joints. And we had a tray and bought the rack but it doesn't quite fit in it properly. So we've seen this and I think it was about £5. Which is quite good value. So yeah, we just grabbed one of these and the heavy we've got a few heavy bikers things i think we've got a few trays and that and they are quite good so yeah we just grabbed that sticking with random things we grabbed these three magnetic fridge magnets i'm just going to open them so they just look like this i think they are all the same yeah they had them in rose gold and silver obviously i went for rose gold i am obsessed with rose gold and they are just magnetic photo frames. I've got the Polaroid ones on our fridge and we've had two weddings this year and now there's nothing else. Our fridge is looking really bare from where the wedding invites were so we grabbed these to put some more photos on there. They'd be good for if you've got a magnetic notice board at work you could put photos in there. So yeah I'm gonna hunt out some photos and stick them on our fridge. The next thing I grabbed was a box of head to toe acrylic nail set, 100 pieces, quick and easy to apply, adhesive included, mini file included. I seen these on Life in the Cottage's Home Bargains video. I'll leave it linked down below if you haven't seen it. These are 149 for 100 acrylic nails. I've got Primark ones on now. I picked up a couple of pairs for a wedding we were going to and I didn't quite know what my dress was going to look like because I hadn't bought it so I just picked up a few pairs that I thought would go with pretty much anything and I wore a kind of pale blue set for the wedding and then when they came off I stuck these ones on and they are really pretty and the Primark ones are a pound so you can't go wrong but these are 149 and you can paint them any colour you want so I am just going to open these as well. So they come in a little box which is good to keep them all handy. The Primark ones come in like a little packet and they're not very good for storage but I suppose once you've used these you could then just refill them with your own. If you buy Primark ones you could put one set in each. So yeah I'm excited to give them a go. They look like they have a lot of different sizes. I think they've got one, two, three, four. Yeah they've got ten different sizes. So I will keep you posted on how well they do. The other really random miscellaneous thing is just some plastic wallets. If you've seen my Aldi haul, I picked up some 
A4 files and I just needed some plastic wallets to go in them. So there's a hundred in here and I think they were about 99p. So I just grabbed them while I seen them. Moving on to the exciting part, the cleaning part. The first thing I picked up was just two candles, which I'm going to include in the cleaning part because they make your house smell nice. I picked up the Wickford & Co big ones. I'm not sure how big these are. They burn for up to 95 hours apparently. But these are the same size as a Yankee Candle large one and these ones are 2 99 I've currently got the blue one burning over there. But this one is the Berry Sorbe one and it does just smell like berries. So it's a very spring scent. And the other one I grabbed is Pink Lemonade. And again, this is just a really fresh scent. It does smell like lemons, so if you're not a fan of lemons, maybe give this one a miss. But for 2 99 you really can't go wrong. And like I said, I've got one burning over there, and I also have the vanilla one in my stash as well. I'm pretty sure they do about six different scents that I could see. I know they do, I think it's a pear one, and it's pink, but they didn't have it. And I really wanted to get that one, but they didn't have it. Next thing we grabbed was just some bin liners. They kind of go under cleaning, but yeah, we ran out, so just grabbed 40 pedal bin liners. We don't have a pedal bin, we have a push bin, like a swing bin, so hopefully these fit. If not, we just have to kind of tie them and make it fit. If you watch any of my Poundland videos, which I'll leave linked in the cards and down below, you know that when I do my Poundland hauls, I always pick up a bottle of the Flash Multi Surface Concentrate and I normally get the yellow one. This is the pink one and it's Blossom and Breeze and it smells so much better than the lemon one. Obviously the lemon one is a pound in the pound shop. This one is 99p in Home Bargain so it's the same price really. But this one just smells so much better and it's pink. Like the actual, I thought the bottle was pink but it's not, the actual liquid is pink. So yeah, we grabbed one of them. I did only grab one because we still have a yellow one that we're using. So I didn't want to get too many of them. But I think I should have because I don't know if the pound shop sells this one. Again, if you're a regular viewer and you watch my Poundland hauls, you will see I always pick up one of the Astonish Oxy Active stain removers. It's like the powder. This is a kilogram tub and was £1.99. I'm not sure how big the pound shop ones are, but... I thought it was a good bargain to pick up one of these. Again, if you were new around here, get Glenn is a gardener, so he always comes in covered in grass, and I always put a scoop of this in every wash with his work clothes, and it brings them out fine. So yeah, if you're around home bargains and you want the big tub, then definitely grab one of these. I'm not sure if this one will come with a scoop. I'm just gonna check because the smaller ones come with a scoop yeah there is a scoop in here for anyone who doesn't know it's just like a white kind of powder but it's a stain remover and if we ever spill anything down like a white top or something I wet the stain put a scoop of this on and fold the top up and put it in the wash machine and then put another scoop in with the wash and they come out perfect and it's good on whites as well. And then just grabbed some Dettol like multi-surface wipes. These are the pomegranate and lime ones. I love the smell of pomegranate. So I grabbed these. These were 99p for 32 large wipes. So they will just go in the cleaning cupboard. The next couple of things I picked up, again, I've seen like on Instagram cleaning accounts and YouTube speed cleans and stuff. And it is the Carpet Fresh 1001 I think that's what it's called and I grab the Thai orchid and passion fruit and the frosted winter berries I'm guessing this was a Christmas scent that's why it's now in home bargains but these smell amazing I've been using shake and vac since we moved in here because we have blue carpets we rent this place and we can't change the carpet, but they're like a bluey colour. I'm not the biggest fan of them. And they show up dirt really easily. And Shake and Vac makes them smell nicer. But 
we are pretty sure that is what ruined our hoover. A lot of people say that it doesn't, it clogs your filters and even if you wash them it still doesn't make them any better. Whereas this is a foam, so you hoover your carpet and then spray this on top and you can either hoover over it again or just leave it, it just sinks into the carpet. We tried it on our carpet the other day, just like a test patch and the smell is amazing. So I'm definitely going to pick up more of these when I see them about and get rid of the shake and vac. We do have a new shark hoover which is a lot more powerful than our other one but again I don't want to ruin the filters with the shake and vac so I'm going to switch to this. Final things I picked up were the flora. I've got seven bottles of it. Bit excessive but I love the stuff. I use it for washing, cleaning, pretty much anything I can use it for I will. So in Whole Bargains they do the three different sizes. They do the 56 milliliter one, the 120 milliliter one, and then the 250 milliliter one. The smaller ones are 59p, the bigger ones are 99, and the biggest one is 199, but they only had one cent in the big one. The two mini ones I picked up were bouquet, and country garden. The mini ones actually come in glass bottles. Apparently when Zoflora first launched back in like the 1920s or something, it's been around for years, they were all in glass bottles but they've now made them plastic, the bigger ones, but these are the glass ones. So I got bouquet and country garden. These are obviously quite fresh scents. This one smells completely like fresh flowers. I find this one smells a bit like cut grass when it rains. That kind of really nice grass smell. But yeah, they'll be used for cleaning. Two that I always pick up when I'm in the pound shop, because pound shops sell these two as well, are Linen Fresh and Springtime. I mainly use these two in my laundry. I use this one in towels and this one in like bedding and normal laundry the same with this one i use it in normal laundry as well so i picked up a backup of them when i do my pound shop haul this month i probably will pick up whatever scents they've got as well because i just like to keep stock the other two smaller ones i picked up were the honeysuckle and jasmine and the pink grapefruit everyone is going mad for the pink grapefruit i can see why it is a very fresh scent but it is the limited edition scent for spring, I think. So everyone is going mental for it. They didn't have a lot in home bargains where I live. So I grabbed one. I'm not the biggest fan of the grip of like grapefruit as in the smell, but this is quite a fresh scent. I don't know if it's because it's pink grapefruit and I just don't like normal grapefruit. But yeah, I picked up one of them and I'm pretty sure I've had the honeysuckle and jasmine one. No, because this one's limited edition, so I mustn't have. But, again, it smells like a bunch of flowers. So, if you haven't smelled it, go and give it a sniff. And you will probably like it if you like most of the flora smells. The only flora smell I don't like is the lavender one. I don't like lavender. I never really have. So, I never pick that one up. But that one is always in the pound shop. The final one that I picked up was the apple orchid one this one smells amazing this one is one of the bigger ones and it just smells like fresh apples like a granny smith's when you cut in them in half and you get the apple smell to me that is what it smells like this will probably be one that i use down the drain in the kitchen or what i normally do is fill the washing up bowl with some hot water and then put a capful in and it just sends the whole kitchen i like to do it in the bathroom in the sink as well so yeah this one will probably be one that i use in the kitchen because our kitchen is as you come in the front door it's the first room that you have to walk past so I like to keep that one smelling nice so that you get the scent as you walk in the door. That is everything I picked up from Home Bargains. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below with anything you always pick up from Home Bargains or any of the flora scents that I need to try out or any of the flora tips if you use the flora. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in my next video.